Hi, it's Howard from Writer's Room Pro, and welcome to video two of our tutorial series. In this video, we're going to go over creating and moving cards on the various boards, stacking cards, inserting an episode, duplicating an episode, deleting an episode, and moving an episode. And along the way, we're going to cover a few more tips and techniques. On the projects page, I'll go to my working project. And as you can see, I can choose to click on the season board, episode board, character board, or scrap board. And doing so will take me directly to that board. Let's start with the season board. This board opens up pretty zoomed in, so I'll use the magnifying glass with the minus symbol to zoom back out. On the season board, this is where I'd plot out big moves for my entire season. I'll open a card, type a plot point, color code it, and either click escape or use my mouse to click anywhere off the card and it retreats into place on the board. I already put a bunch of ideas up on the board and now I want to organize them. First thing I can do is just move the cards around. Notice as I move the card, a blue outline tells me where the card will go when I let go. If I insert a card in a column, say under episode 103, you'll see the blue bar between the cards. When you see that, drop your card and you'll notice the cards below move down to make room. And if I pull a card out, it'll automatically close up the gap. Remember, each board is limitless, so you can literally add as many cards as you want to the rows, extending down well below the screen. To access them, you can go into the Wrench tool and click on Show Navigation Window, and use the Navigation tool to scroll around anywhere you want on the screen. Stacking cards is very easy and useful. To stack a card, simply grab a card and move it over on top of another card. Let it go, and it'll automatically stack. You know there's a stack because the little round stacking icon on the lower right appears. Clicking on that icon will let you cycle through the cards. If you click on the stack, all the cards in that stack open up, and you can work with each one individually, changing text, formatting, coloring, or even erasing. Click off the cards or hit escape, and the cards go back, and we can see the board again. Let's talk about inserting episodes. Let's say I've broken the story in episode 103, but, you know, I want to experiment with another version of that story. I can make a second episode 103 by going to the wrench icon and clicking Insert an Episode. A pop-up window will ask where I want to insert the episode. I'll click on 103. Below, it asks, do I want to insert my new episode before or after the selected episode, which is 103. I'll click I want to insert after 103 and click the blue Insert Episode button. Immediately, a new column has appeared, and episode 104 and the rest have moved over to the right. This new column doesn't have a name or episode number, so I'll click in the blue header card, and I'll name this new episode 103 Alt. Below that, I can give the episode a title or just leave it blank. I hit Escape, and now the new episode has a name, and it's with the others. Now, in doing this, I could also just have clicked Duplicate an Episode and it'll ask me which episode. I'll click 103, and a new episode automatically called 103.2 in this case, appears with all the cards in 103 duplicated into 103.2. I can work with those cards in the new column and play with this story flow without affecting 103 at all. I can also highlight a card and cut or copy and paste that card anywhere else on the board. I'll click this card once. If I click it twice, it'll open up, and I don't want that. So I'll click it once to highlight it, and then I'll hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC to copy it to the clipboard. Then I can go over to any blank card and click Command V or Control V and it'll paste the card there. If I decide that the new episode I was playing with, 103 Alt, is not necessary and I want to erase it, I simply go to the wrench and click Delete Episode. It'll ask me which one. I'll choose 103 Alt and it'll confirm my choice. And if I decide to keep 103 Alt and make it a regular episode, I can go back to the wrench and click Renumber Episodes. A window will appear asking me if I want to renumber episode titles or act titles. Well, since I'm on the season board, I want to renumber the episode titles. I click that, click the blue Renumber Cards button, and boom! 103 Alt has now become 104, and the system added an 11th episode to compensate. But let's say I don't want an 11th episode. I just go back to the wrench, go to Project Settings, and set my number of episodes back to 10. It'll go back to 10 episodes, and if I have any cards that I created under those new extra episodes, it won't erase them. It'll keep the cards off to the right. Last, if you want to move an episode, go to the wrench, click Move Episode, 
and this window will pop up. On the left, it's asking which episode do I want to move. On the right, it's asking where I want to move it to. Below this, it'll ask more specific questions about how you want to move or swap the episodes. So that's how to move cards, stack cards, and move, insert, erase, and renumber episodes. Stay tuned for our next video.